Hi, I understand that this is all your idea that you've started this bike run. Can you tell me what your name is and how did this all come about? Uh, my name is Becky Boyke and um, I didn't start it, actually God started it. And so um, we run through this county, we drive through this county, we fast, we pray, calling out to God to heal our land. How many how many bike persons in the in this club? In this club, um, Higher ground, I believe there is, there's at least uh, 10, 15 bikers right now. I had worked with one of them and we just got to talking about it and they are a group that um, uses their outdoor activities to promote a way to have ministry opportunities in the communities. And so that's how we got together. Okay, my understanding is um, this is all walks of faith, isn't it? Yeah, as far as, yeah, we come from many different denominations, so um, it is just truly a group of people that are uniting together for a cause. Just getting my uh, gear ready this morning. Uh, got some nutrition packs I'm going to be taking because later on the day I'm definitely going to need them. <laughs> 75 miles today and uh, 75 tomorrow and I'm probably a little under trained, but uh, I think we can do it. We'll, uh, we'll be okay. A lot of inspiration today. We should be able to keep it going. So. And what's your name? Mike McKellips. And you are from? Cuba. Cuba, Missouri. Yep. So we got, we got a small group here uh, that we ride uh, kind of regularly. I, uh, some of us don't get to ride as much as others due to work and family, but we uh, we all try to get together and do some riding, and then, uh, and then Becky kind of brought us all together for this Prayer Wall 150. And uh, so we're going to give it a go. We're going to have a lot of fun. Hopefully uh, some uh, inspiration for others. And uh, we'll just see what happens. We're going to turn it over to the Lord today and uh, and go as far as we can. Hi. We'll start right here. Uh, what's your name? My name is Fran Godet. Okay. Good luck on the run today. And well, I'm just going to make a circle here and get everybody's names because I know everybody's in a big hurry. Okay. Mark Pfeiffer. Jeremiah Wilson. Josh Brown. Stephen Waldron. Okay, good luck, guys. Hi, and what's your name? Steve Adams. Are you ready for this run? I am ready. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Remember back in the 90s? Are you saying a little later than what they're saying? Line them up. Three more bananas. A few words about a few sheets. Um, I didn't get a chance to pour over them, so just go with your gut. If you, <laughs> you can, follow, follow the tire tracks if you're not sure. This is paid the black top. The skinny tire track. That, wor that works for gravel riding, but not today. <laughs> uh, no, nah, we'll be together for the most point. We'll stop at all junk. But yeah, the, the, these two sheets should be correct. Um, day one and two are together there. These are day one and two, all in all in one pile. So, Steve, I'll keep and it. we've got <laughs> we got a little bicycle rider. So <laughs> it is a girl one. Are you saying next year? <laughs> I expect you to be riding next year. And then on the back we have a little message for you thank on you. the back. So uh, thank you. Thank you guys. Appreciate I it. appreciate that. That he is going to uh, personally touch you and use you at some way along the route. That's been my, my prayer that you guys will just either come up upon a moment or a person that God just says, this is who I want you to talk to. God, I just ask for protection on these guys and their families as they're driving and riding out today, that you would uh, keep traffic at a safe distance from them, that people that are behind them would not become in, impatient and, um, and dangerous. But God, just show them your beauty all around. I've been through these towns, I've been through these roads over and over, and every time I'm just awed at how beautiful you have made this place.
Hi Josh, hi Mike. You're back from your big ride. How was it? Uh, it was a little hot today. Um, good roads, traffic wasn't real heavy, but the heat kind of knocked us down a little bit. Yeah, same thing. Got a little warm, uh, especially around noon to one there. But I tell you what, the uh, some of the territory we covered was beautiful. Just you know, it's just God's creation, and uh, we're just so thankful that we uh, we were able to get out and see it today. Uh, I'll pay for it tonight, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a great day, and uh, and to finish up here on the on a beautiful river, you know, we couldn't ask for anything more. So it's a great day. Did you have any incidents on the way? <laughs> well. There was one, I guess, uh, just a, a little little spill one of our guys had, but uh, no, there really wasn't any incidents. We had a, a, a church out um, near Berger, Senate Grove Church, that fed us. They had a big spread, and uh, so we stopped for about an hour partway through, had a good lunch, uh, uh, and the, this morning was just beautiful. The weather was great. It was 60 degrees when we started. But we were hitting on our garments. It was showing 95 degrees and higher as the closer we got. So, yeah, it, 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 drastic change from morning till this evening, you know. Good Missouri weather. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the uh, traffic was great. Everybody was courteous out there and, and thoughtful, it seemed like. Had a few dogs run us down, but other than that, yeah, it went, went well. So. so you guys are getting ready for tomorrow and what, what, what will you be doing tonight uh, you know we're gonna sit here and jam out and pig out probably for a little while and then we'll probably go back uh, the wives are, are getting a motel room so we'll go find a shower and and we'll you know probably just hang out and have some guy time tonight uh, there's a church right next to the local bike shop actually that's that's putting us up for the night so we might go back to the bike shop this evening and uh, talk to those guys and then step over into the church and throw a pallet out I guess. <laughs> That's great. That is so great. I am so glad that you guys made it all right and good luck on your on your 75 miles tomorrow. Hi Fran, tell me a little bit of the most exciting parts on the trip for you. Well, uh, the the, uh, the food, the uh, fellowship that we had with the, uh, the churches along the way, the interaction with them was probably uh, the most exciting part for me. Uh, but fellowship with my fellow riders, you know, this is part of the reason that we do it is to uh, to get to uh, talk with one another and hash our things out for the happens through the week and, and just talk. So uh, the beautiful scenery was uh, was great. Uh, that's always a plus. That's uh, another reason you can't take this in from uh, a car. So a cycle is, uh, you know, a, a great way to, to view the scenery. So, Well, how many churches helped you along the way? You guys would stop and have water and, and food and breaks, right? Yes, we had uh, a Senate Grove Church. Is they uh, they provided us with lunch and, and desserts. Uh, other churches provided us with water and, and just just stops and things uh, such as that. But uh, just a few this time. Uh, we'll have a couple more tomorrow. We'll have another stop uh, about a halfway point, and, and another church will host us for lunch. And what are you doing tonight to relax for 75 miles more tomorrow? Eating barbecue. Hi, Mark. Hi, Steve. And uh, how was your trip today? Very, very eventful. That's for sure. It was, it was a long 75 miles, for sure. So, well, we did, we did good starting out this morning. Temperatures nice and cool, but boy, it warmed up pretty quick out there. I understand that you were a uh, son-in-law and, and father-in-law yep. team. Yep. How long have you guys been riding together? Mm, two years, probably. Yeah, probably about two years now. Two years. Are you both going to be in the Cuba Fest together? Absolutely. Yes, yes, we are. And how far are you going to be riding in the Cuba Fest? Hoping to be 100 miles. Wow. So that's what we're signed up for. That's 100. what we're signed up for. So we'll, see how, we'll see how tomorrow's 75 got, goes. Yeah. <laughs> got a got a few more weeks to train and and get prepared, and then then we'll be ready, I think. But yeah, that is fantastic. What do you guys do off time when you're not riding bicycles? What what, what are you doing? I I have four children, so I I'm pl plenty busy, and he's got four grandchildren, so yes, through me, so <laughs> he stays plenty busy too. So we we do that. We do a little bit of camping too, yes, you know. Do. So you know, it's and today you went up at the highest peak around or something like that. Is that right? Yeah, yes, mo did. most of us did. Well, well Steve, I I kind of laid my bike on its side going uphill. Oh gosh. Well, just. 
it was a lot of new rock out there they just laid down and I, I was trying to stand up and pedal and I was in my lowest gear there and it just spun and I went over on the side. It's not like I was going fast. Yeah. Maybe one. Any band-aids? Oh no, just a little dust. That was about it. I'm glad, I'm glad you wasn't in hurry. <laughs> you guys did a great job and good luck on your ride tomorrow. Oh, Best of luck. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it.